Hi, and welcome to the serialization series brought to you by C Sharp Learners. In this video, we'll cover SOAP serialization in .NET. So let's get started. There are basically four ways to implement serialization in .NET. We've talked about these before in the other videos, but just to reiterate, we can use binary serialization, SOAP serialization, XML serialization, and custom serialization. SOAP stands for Simple Object Access Protocol, and SOAP serialization is the best way for communicating between applications with heterogeneous architectures. The system, runtime, serialization, formatters, SOAP reference must be added to the application and in SOAP serialization, the SOAP ignore attribute ignores the members it has been applied to. The basic advantage to using SOAP serialization is its portability. Like binary formatter, SOAP formatter extends the iFormatter interface. The SOAP formatter class serializes objects into SOAP messages, or can extract serialized objects by parsing SOAP messages. In SOAP serialization, the SOAP formatter creates SOAP envelopes and it uses the object graph to generate the result. Like other formatters, the SOAP formatter is responsible for serializing and deserializing objects to and from SOAP messages. Here we're serializing a book object. To serialize an object using SOAP serialization, we create a file stream object and a SOAP formatter object. We pass in a file name and a file mode to the file stream object. Then, calling the SOAP formatter serialize method, we can serialize our book object by passing it along with the file stream object. Finally, we close the file stream object. To deserialize an object, we create a file stream and a SOAP formatter object. In our file stream object, we pass in a file name and a file mode of open. Then we create a new object which will hold the deserialized data. To deserialize, we'll call the SOAP formatter's deserialize method and pass in our own fi file stream object. Finally, we'll close the file stream and return our object. Thanks again for watching our SOAP serialization video. For any questions, you're welcome to visit our website at blog.csharplearners.com or email any questions you have to questions at blog.csharplearners.com. Thanks again for watching.